Hey Quinzel here with another video. So I'm doing a, a mix this time. Rather than just things that I bought, I have things that I bought and I have something that came out of storage. As I mentioned in the earlier video, I am going through, uh, or not I, my family is going through storage. I'm going through what's left over at the end. Making sure not something mine is not being sold or given away. But um, anyways, my sibling was going through a lot of our stuff when we were kids. And he found a lot of cool stuff. And uh, they showed me what uh, what it was and I kept a lot of it. You saw the video where I did uh, storage pools. Anyways, to get on with it, let's start off with the thing I got from storage. This is really cool. Jurassic Park Operation Genesis on PC. This is really cool. Because um, not only is it in box, in the box, really good shape. It is complete. Oh yeah, just a flap that you open up. It is complete as far as I know. Let's open it up here, pull out the box. Let's see if I can get it out. Let's set this down here. And here we have the goodies inside. We have the manual. We have the game. For those who don't know, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis is a park simulation game. Uh, a park building simulation game. Kind of like... Um, Roller coaster tycoon and stuff like that, in which you uh, build a Jurassic Park of your own, breed dinosaurs, manage manage the park, and so on. Uh, very similar to Jurassic World Evolution, which came out on PS3. P I mean, sorry, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch and PC. Um, I really enjoy Jurassic World uh, Evolution. It's a really fun game, very well made. Easy to play and fun to master. Jurassic World Operation Genesis was a little bit more rough around the edges, a little bit more simplified, but it was also very, very fun, I recall. Um, I spent a lot of time making up parks that I will go haywire, and I spent a lot of time making parks that will actually function. I uh, created all kinds of dinosaurs and loved all the aspects of the game. For the time, it was one hell of a good Jurassic Park game. And given the other ones that came out at the period, Trespasser, Chaos Island, uh, this came out a little bit later, Jurassic World uh, Operation Genesis. But I, it, yeah, for me, it blew the other ones out of the water. I play this on my old PC a lot. And I'm going to be doing streams soon featuring uh, this game along with other Jurassic Park games. I haven't abandoned that. Uh, I switched from Twitch to YouTube, and that's going to be happening very soon. Carrying on, uh, I did a little toy hunt. I went to different stores. I went to Target. Two Targets, and I guess that's my stores. Anyways, I went to two different Targets looking at Jurassic World toys. I was going to do a video where I uh, do the toy hunt, you know, film me in stores and everything. But I was a bit in a hurry. I was in a bit of a hurry, so I did not do it properly. And um, yeah, I decided not to not to include that, not to upload that, because it was a bit of a mess. But I'm gonna do that eventually. Anyways, when I was toy hunting, I came across some a few Jurassic World toys. Uh, it was mostly picked clean by the time I got there. But I managed to find a character, a figure, a dinosaur that I was interested for a long time I wanted to get and I had a hard time finding it in stores. I did find it once at Walmart but the problem was at Walmart they didn't document it properly, they didn't put it into the database properly so when it scanned it wouldn't turn up on their database and it cannot sell it to me and it kept putting it on the shelf after I take it to customer service telling it doesn't scan. And they kept putting it on the shelf and I get excited and I'm like oh maybe they fixed it, it doesn't scan. So, I never ended up getting it from Walmart, and I was very glad to find this at Target. It is the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous True Dawn action figure. I was going, hoping to find Bumpy. 
because I saw there was a restock and I'm gonna be going again for that bumpy hunt hopefully they still manufacture bumpies I don't know but seeing the truth on gave me high hopes I wanted to get the truth on for one reason specifically I have a collection of like the main dinosaurs I like to call them from the Jurassic World Jurassic Park franchise I have the Brachiosaurus, the first dinosaur you see in the, um, in the film, other than the Velociraptor eye. Uh, I have the Indominus Rex, I have the Indoraptor, I have a T-Rex, Spinosaurus, the Raptor Squad, uh, I have um, Toro, I have the Raptors from the first movie from the Lost World Jurassic Park, I do not have the third movie, I have Grimm. Anyways, to sum it up, I have like the main dinosaurs from the franchise. And I wanted to include the Trudon because the Trudon was a main dinosaur featured in Jurassic Park the game from Telltale Games. Those who have not played it, spoilers, Trudons are these little creatures that uh, have very poisonous uh, scrapes. They scrape you and you get poison and it's very toxic. And I wanted to include it in my set because I love the Jurassic Park uh, Telltale game. Um... I don't think it's canon anymore. It was like a soft canon when it came out, but I don't think it's even considered as any kind of canon anymore. Still, it's a very enjoyable game. It gives you like a new uh, spin on the first Jurassic Park movie as it takes place during the same time. And it has different characters uh, that you know and don't know. And anyways, let's open this up because despite being on the hunt for this for a long time, I am not collecting this in package. I am actually opening it up and displaying it out of package. So here is a True Dawn out of package. Very nice. Jaws articulate, legs articulate, uh, neck moves up and down. Very cool. This is going in my display. I'm going to set it down right here for now. And this thing keeps going out. I think it's out of battery. But I changed the battery. Don't know what's up with it. Okay, so while I was at Target, I was going through the bookshelves and I was going through the DVDs and all the other games. And I found this book. I don't know the author. Never read anything by this author. But seeing the book got my interest. It was 30% off, had an interesting title, interesting subtitle. And I was like, I'll give it a try. I thumbed through it. It seemed like a decent read. This is The Green Witch. The Green Witch by Aaron Murphy Hiscock. Your complete guide to the natural magic of herbs, flowers, essential oils, and more. Now, I do not know the author, but I like these guidebooks that have a, like a easy reference to it. That way I can look at herbs and other magical uh, ingredients that uh, I do not know off the top of my head. I can use this as reference. I thumbed through it. It has some uh, some pretty interesting pages that I, I just was interested in. I read some of the text that I kind of feel for the book before I bought it. I didn't impulse buy this. And... 30% off. It's a $18 book. I paid like $13. And can't go wrong with, with a good book every once in a while. Hopefully this turns out to be one of those. I would buy for my Kindle. But um, one thing I noticed about my Kindle is I have a hard time taking notes from it. Because the page turns so slowly and I tend to go back and forth the pages when I take notes. So, with the candle, it gets a little frustrating. Oh, and one more thing. This guy came in in the mail. I just saw it out of the corner of my eye, and it started distracting me, and I couldn't finish my train of thought on the book, the, uh, the Green Witch book. This <laughs> written and directed by Kevin Smith. This uh, Kevin Smith director's pop. I was on Amazon. I was ordering some cereal. And um, I was like, okay, let's see if I can find a copy of Red State for cheap. Because I like that movie and it's out of print. Kind of hard to find. 
And I did not find it for cheap, but um, when I typed in Kevin Smith, this one popped up, number one. And um, is it Kevin Smith director's pop? So it's his, this character is Kevin Smith himself, it's not Silent Bob. One thing I noticed about Jay and Silent Bob pops is that they shot up in price crazy. I mean, they're like $100, $200, and I'm not going to spend that much for a pop. I picked this up because I have a small Kevin Smith collection. I have some in-action figures. I have some used juice bottles. I have a, a bunch of DVDs, some books. And, um, yeah, this will go great in my collection. And also, I wanted to see if it picked up a little bit of value, given some time. I mean, if the Silent Jay and Silent Bob... Jay and Silent Bob pops were able to go up so much. Maybe a simple director's Kevin Smith can go up in price. And then I can make the decision whether to keep it in my collection or to uh, sell it. Because I'm not emotionally or personally invested in this pop. Other than the sense that I uh, collect Kevin Smith stuff. So if it goes up to like 150 bucks, And I feel like I need a little bit of money. I might end up selling it. So stay tuned. You never know. With that, I, I have some interesting pools from um, storage. I just remembered. I had them right in front of me and I forgot about them. I already have these, some of these figures, but it's still cool to show off. Here is Dieter Stark from the Lost World of Jurassic Park with the engine tattoo. He was a mercenary. He was the one that shocked the Consignatus. He was the one that got eaten by the Consignatus. Here's another Alan Grant. I already have this model of Alan Grant. He's from Jurassic Park 3. Um, other than that, I don't really know much about that toy line because I never bought those toys. Here is Roland Tembo. He came with a motorcycle. And this one is actually pretty good in likeness. And um, the yeah, it's, I like this one. From the Lost World Jurassic Park. The motorcycle was like a camouflage motorcycle, I think. Or was it a ATV? I don't recall now that I think about it. Because the motorcycle was Carlos. So I think he, his was an ATV. Ron Tembo was an ATV. And this guy is so weird. It's Eddie Carr. He came in a tricycle type vehicle. Had three tires, I think. And yeah, that was his thing. It was one of those weird designs that didn't make sense with the movie, but they made toys of it anyway. Anyways, with all that said, that was my video for today. I hope you enjoyed what I pulled out of storage, things that I got. So if you like what you saw, if you uh, read The Green Witch and have an opinion on it, Please let me know in the comments. Um, if you think that Kevin Smith pop is going to go up in, in value, let me know in the comments. And if you think Jurassic Park Operation Genesis is a very cool game and you enjoyed it when you were little or you hated it, I want to know. With all that said, I'm Jake Quinzel. Love, peace, chicken grease. And that's the end of the video. Thank you.